being a part of the gay community as a visually impaired person is quite difficult because I don't feel understood or welcome. Visually impaired people on the LGBT scene, well, there's not many of them. I don't know many that go out. We're black, we're African, we're women. Uh, we're working class, we're queer. we're queer. Mad, you know what, when I think about it, what representation of a queer black woman have I ever seen in my life to know that this is valid and this is okay and this exists? None. When I, when I came out, it was like a, like a starting point. And since then, I had lots of gay Muslims actually come towards me, ask me for advice, and some lots of people actually came out. Their happiness is my happiness. They came out, it feels like I finally came out. I'm not the only one, because my whole life, 15 years, I felt like I was the only one. I was the only gay Muslim out there. There's no one like me, because all the people are reaching out. I feel like, I just, I just feel like I'm here. I just feel like I belong. I didn't know so many of us existed. I did not know there were actually queer black women that listen to the same music as me, watch the same stuff as me. They didn't look queer like me. Yes! I was mad, I was like, wait, you're mm. queer, what? I didn't see myself anywhere, so I didn't feel like I existed. And so I felt like I was an anomaly. And then just to find out my best friend's queer, I was like, come on, girl. Then my sister, no, <laughs> shut up. This is great, oh, I'm not alone. What helps me continue to perform and let a Billy Rose Dark take over is my personal determination and my passion is everything to me. That's like encouraging LGBT disabled people to like come out and socialise and they need to see that there are visually impaired people out there doing their thing, get going out, getting on with their life, um, being independent.